Welcome to the longest running quiz show in the area. Categories. High school students compete to answer questions on topics from art to science, history to current events. And now, here's your categories host, John Bartell. Hi, welcome to Categories in our first game of the 2016-17 category season as the Blue Valley North Mustangs, coached by Terry Sneathan, take on the Blue Valley Northwest Huskies, coached by Rob Meacham. Let's go ahead and meet our contestants first from North. Hi, I'm Ryan. I'm a senior. I'm Anastasia. I'm a senior. I'm Grace. I'm a senior. I'm Archita. I'm a senior. I'm Alexandra. I'm a senior. And our competitors from Blue Valley Northwest. I'm Ben, I'm a junior. I'm Alex, I'm a junior. I'm Arvind, I'm a sophomore. I'm Ariana, I'm a junior. I'm Eva, I'm a freshman. All right, fantastic. We went over the rules before we started taping. We also did a coin toss to determine which team would be going first in our first round, and it was won by Blue Valley Northwest. So Northwest, here is the first category. It is current events. Give the name of the university that hosted the second presidential debate between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. Ariana? St. Louis University. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Mustangs, chance to steal the same question. Current events is the category. Give the name of the university that hosted the second presidential debate between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. Archita? Uh, Washington University in St. Louis. That is correct. Coming back to you, Mustangs, mythology is the category. In Greek mythology, departed mortals were sent to one of two places in the underworld. The abode of the damned was called Tartarus. What was the place of the blessed called? Alexandra? Elysium. Elysium, very good. Coming back to you, Northwest. Medicine is the category. What is the general name for the device used to immobilize a fractured limb on an injured person who is being transported to medical services. Ben. A splint. It is a splint. Mustangs, fine arts is the category. In the 1920s, this artist was introduced to the Duchess of Kent who told him, my granddaughter painted like that when she was nine. The painter replied, Madame de la Just Duchess, when I was nine, I painted like Raphael. Name this artist. Alexandra. Pablo Picasso. It is Picasso. Nice job. Huskies. Vocabulary. Originally, it meant the love of wisdom. Now it is generally understood to be the study of principles that regulate the universe and, uh, and underlie all reality. What word am I describing? Eva. Philosophy. Philosophy. Very good. Mustangs, coming back to you. Poetry is the category. Everyone remembers Paul Revere, but few know of William Dawes and Samuel Prescott, chiefly because only Revere is mentioned in what poem by what poet? Time on that. Huskies, chance to steal this poetry category. Everyone remembers Paul Revere, but few know of William Dawes and Samuel Prescott, chief, chiefly because only Revere is mentioned in what poem by what poet? It's Paul Revere's Ride by Longfellow. Northwest, we are staying with you. U.S. government is the category. The Bureau of Engraving and Printing operates under the auspices of what cabinet department? Ben. The Treasury. It is the Treasury. Mustangs, coming back to you. Sports is the category. Eleven men are on a football team. Eleven men are on a soccer team. How many men on a cricket team? Time on that, coming back to the Huskies for a chance to steal the sports category. 11 men are on a football team, 11 on a soccer team. How many on a cricket team? Arvin? 11. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Nine 
nine is the answer we're looking for. Huskies, we are staying with you with a math question. What is the domain of this equation? F of X equals the absolute value of X. Ben. All real numbers. It is all real numbers. Mustangs, world history is your category. In 1931, he and his wife, Anne, flew a pontoon aircraft to Japan to demonstrate that the Great Circle polar path to Asia shortened the New York to Tokyo flight by about 2,000 miles compared to the usual route across the Pacific. Name this aviator. Uh, who's Lindbergh? It is Lindbergh. Make sure I call on you first, okay? But you were correct. It is Lindbergh. And it's not, it's not Jeopardy, so you don't have to answer in the form of a question. All right. Huskies, we are coming back to you. General knowledge, specifically etiquette. Emily Post says a debutante's dress should never be what color? Alex. Black. It is black. Mustangs, U.S. Geography. What University of Rochester School of Music is named after the photography giant who originally founded it? Huskies, chance to steal this U.S. Geography question. What University of Rochester School of Music is named after the photography giant who originally founded it? Eva. Juilliard. It's not Juilliard. It's Eastman. Eastman. Huskies, we are staying with you. Religion is the next category. 90% of Austrians are members of which church? Ariana? Roman Catholic. Roman Catholic is correct. Mustangs. Science, specifically biology. Why do snakes sleep with their eyes open? Alexandra? Because they have no eyelids. They have no eyelids. Very good. Huskies, cinema is your category. Name the pilot whose adventures of breaking the sound barrier are featured in the movie The Right Stuff. Time on that. Mustangs, chance to steal this cinema category. Name the pilot whose adventures of breaking the sound barrier are featured in the movie The Right Stuff. It would be Chuck Yeager. Chuck Yeager. North, we are staying with you. Language is the category. Name all five Romance languages. Alexandra. Italian, French, Romanian, and, sorry. I'm sorry, time on that. Huskies, you have a chance to seal this category. The category is language. Name all five Romance languages. Alex. Uh, Spanish, Italian, Romanian, French, and mm, Slavic. I'm sorry, that is not correct. You guys did a nice job missing Portuguese. Portuguese was the last one. Huskies, we are staying with you. Literature is the category. Of which shortcoming was pubil pubilius Cirrus referring when he said, he knows not when to be silent, he knows not when to speak. Is it jealousy, covetousness, bitterness, lust, or indiscretion? Alex? Indiscretion. Indiscretion, very good. Coming back to you, Mustangs, government is the category. Article 1 of the United Nations Charter says that, the main, that maintaining what is the UN's primary purpose? Ryan, you got it in. World peace. World peace, very good. Huskies, sports history. 
What Major League Baseball team did Jackie Robinson play for? Alex? Brooklyn Dodgers. Brooklyn Dodgers, very good. Coming back to you Mustangs with a math geometry question. The measure of an exterior angle at the base of an isosceles triangle is 108 degrees. What is the measure of the vertex angle? Ryan. 36 degrees. It is 36, nice job. Northwest, US history is the category. One of the most significant engineering achievements in the history of the United States was the building of the Panama Canal. It was begun in the 19th century and completed in the 20th. Who was president when the canal began operation? Arvind? Teddy Roosevelt. It was not Roosevelt. Mustang's chance to steal this history question. One of the most significant engineering achievements in the history of the United States was the building of the Panama Canal. It was begun in the 19th century and completed in the 20th. Who was president when the canal began operation? Right. Taft? It's not Taft. Wilson. Wilson. <coughs> Staying with you, North, general knowledge is the category. What does a hardware trade, or what does a, the hardware trade, call scissors longer than six inches? Time on that. Huskies, chance to steal this general knowledge question. What does the hardware trade call scissors longer than six inches? Alex. Shears. They're called shears. <laughs> Staying with you, Northwest, U.S. flags is the category. There is one star on the Texas state flag. How many stars are there on Arizona's state flag? Ben? 48. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Mustangs, chance to steal this U.S. flags category. There is one star on the Texas state flag. How many stars are there on the Arizona state flag? It also is one star, one star. Mustangs, staying with you with current events. Name the host from the Today Show that was suspended by NBC for his part in a 2005 taped conversation in which Donald Trump talked crudely about women. Ryan? Billy Bush. Billy Bush, very good. Huskies coming back to you, science, botany. Most shrubs and deciduous trees are angiosperms, which have two seed leaves. In botany, what are such plants called? Alex? Carnivorous, carnivorous. Cannot accept that, sorry. That sermon does denote the end, but we have Mustangs. You do have a chance to steal the category. It is botany. Most shrubs and deciduous trees are angiosperms that have two seed leaves. In botany, what are such plants called? Dicotyledons or dicotyledons. All right, that siren did denote the end of our first half. We have a great first round here with Blue Valley North 8 and Northwest with a slight lead with 9. At this part of our program, we will go to a member of each team for a campus update. And it looks like Blue Valley North, Ryan, you are the representative selected for today. So what is happening in the world of the Mustangs? So this week we are having our uh, repertory theater show, and it's the Spooky Scary Spectacular. Also, our girls tennis team just won st uh, state championship for the second year in a row. Our football team has, qual has made the playoffs for the second year in a row. And our cross country team, and Anastasia is a member of that, uh, took third place in EKL. Fantastic, good stuff happening there. And Ben, you are giving the update for the Huskies. So what's happening over on 135th and Switzerland? Our fall sports have been wrapping up their seasons really well, and one of our best teams this year has been the girls' tennis team, who won the regional and sent six girls to the state tournament. This year, we've changed our school schedule, including a new Husky halftime, which is an hour during the middle of the day where students can eat lunch, talk to teachers for academic help, and spend some free time with their friends on a daily basis. It's helped to relieve a lot of stress from students. 
Our band's having a great marching season this year, having just competed in the Central States Marching Festival and last weekend and receiving a superior rating. The band has gone theatrical with its show this year by doing music from West Side Story. All right, excellent. Now the, the what is it called? The Husky, the Husky Halftime. The Husky Halftime. So the, it's, everybody has lunch at the same time? Mm -hmm. And that's working out okay? Yeah, right. we've had to change some things with how lunch is distributed, but mm -hmm. overall it's gone, gone very well. Oh, outstanding. All right, as we head into our second half here, it is the lightning round and tradition here on Categories. We will start our lightning round with our look and listen question. Look and listen is, di is displayed here in the studio for our contestants as well as for you watching at home. The look and listen question is worth two points and contestants may ring in anytime I am finished with the question. One other caveat on this, once, I, once they, uh, someone rings in, we cannot rewind any video and they have to answer from that point forward. So here it is. The look and listen question for today is, name the park that contains this memorial. Alex. Central Park. That is Central Park, very good. As we continue here with our, our lightning round, questions are placed on the floor for either team to answer. If the first team to respond gets a chance. If they respond correctly, they earn a point. If they respond incorrectly, the other team still gets a chance to steal. So here we go. The first category of the lightning round is science, specifically space. Of the seven original Mercury astronauts, one was killed in a 1967 fire on the launching pad at Cape Canaveral. Name him. Virgil Grissom, also known as Gus Grissom. <coughs> Music, instruments. What kind of piano plays automatically, guided by a roll of paper, while a player pumps the pedals? Alex. Harpsichord. It is not a harpsichord. Mustangs, chance to steal this musical instrument category. What kind of piano plays automatically, guided by a roll of paper, while the player pumps pedals? Right. A player piano? It is a player piano. U.S. history for both teams. All children of slaves in Missouri were to be freed on reaching the age of 25, and all further importation of slaves would be forbidden. What amendment am I defining? Ryan. The Talmadge Amendment? The Talmadge, very good. General knowledge for both teams. What Ivy League all-male school became co-educational in 1983? Alex. Brown. It is not Brown. Mustangs, chance to steal this general, general knowledge category. What Ivy League all-male school became co-educational in 1983? Archita? Harvard. It is not Harvard. It's Columbia. Columbia. Geography for both teams. This country consists of a group of islands in the Persian Gulf located between K the Qatar Pen Peninsula and mainland Saudi Arabia. What is the name of this country? Ben. Greece. I cannot accept Greece. Alexandra. Bahrain. Bahrain. Very good. Geography for both teams. Another geography question. Which of the following islands is the largest in the vicinity of South America? Is it Grande de Terre del Fuego, San Salvador, or East Falkland? Arvind. East Falkland. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Mustangs, chance to steal this a world geography question. Which of the following islands is the largest in the vicinity of South America? Is it Grande de Terre del Fuego, San Salvador, or East Falkland? Ryan. Grande de Terre de Fu del Fuego. Very good, yes. Economics for both teams. The Internal Revenue Code prohibits taxpayers from deducting the interest on borrowed money to make what kind of investment? <phone rings> tax-free bonds, tax-free bonds. Sports, specifically equestrian. 
Modern competitive equestrianism, or horseback riding, involves three separate types of competition spread over three days. One event is endurance. One event is show jumping. Name the third, which gauges the grace of the horse and the rider. Alex. Gate. I cannot accept that, no. sorry. Mustangs. You have a chance to steal this sports equestrian question. Modern competitive equestrianism involves three separate types of competition spread over three days. One event is endurance. One event is show jumping. Name the third, which gauges the grace of the horse and rider. Alexandra. Dressage. It is dressage. Literature is the next category for both teams. Marlowe wrote, the tra wrote this, The Tragical History of Dr. Blank. Faustus, Faustus. Vocabulary, fairly long question, so please pay attention. Once again, the category is vocabulary. A man once shouted, rubbish, during one of the former Prime Minister Harold Wilson's speeches. Wilson replied, sir, we will get to your area of special interest in just a moment. What word describes a member of the audience who impolitely interrupts a public speaker in this way? Anastasia? A heckler. He is a heckler. Very good. Or she could be a heckler. Either one. Fine arts. Opera is the next category. Translate the title of the Bellini opera, La Sanambula. Sanambula. It's the sleepwalker. The sleepwalker. Science, botany, to be spe to be specific. Paleontologists tell us that this is that this deciduous gymnosperm hasn't changed since the Triassic period. Identify this Chinese tree of the biloba species. Alex. The bonsai tree? It is not the bonsai tree. Mustangs, chance to steal this botany question. Paleontologists tell us that this deciduous gymnosperm hasn't changed since the Triassic period. Identify this Chinese tree of the biloba species. Ryan? Bamboo. It's not bamboo, it's the ginkgo tree, ginkgo tree. Just a quick score update, we have Blue Valley North with 14 and Northwest 11. Biblical history for, the, for both teams. What city besides Sodom was destroyed by fire and brimstone? Ryan? Gomorrah. Gomorrah. Fine arts, who carved the famed Medici tombs in Florence? It was Michelangelo, Michelangelo. Another science question, this time dealing with chemistry. What major pollutant has the chemical formula SIF4? Eva. Methane. It is not methane. Mustangs, chance to steal this chemistry question. What major pollutant has the chemical formula SIF4? Ryan. Silicon tetrafluoride? That is correct. Math question. Lots of numbers, so pay attention. If you travel at 50 miles per hour for two hours and at 80 miles per hour for, an, for the remaining hour of a three-hour trip, what is your average rate of speed for the whole journey? Ben. 60 miles per hour. It is correct. 60. History. Which gang of outlaws did horse thief Belle Star hide at her ranch? That would be the James Younger gang. Military, what kind of warship is used to clear underwater explosives from coastal waters? Submarine. Oh, I'm sorry, Arvin. I didn't see yeah. which one was blinking. Go ahead. Submarine. It is not a submarine. Mustangs, chance to steal this military question. What kind of warship is used to clear underwater explosives from coastal waters? It's a minesweeper. A minesweeper. 
general knowledge for both teams, named the legendary cowboy who is credited with inventing the branding iron and the lasso. Alex? John Wayne. It's not John Wayne. Mustangs, chance to steal this general knowledge question. Name the legendary cowboy who is credited with inventing the branding iron and the lasso. It's Pecos Bill. U.S. geography for both teams. Its facelifts involve sealant used to repair fissures in the granite. Name this national memorial. Ariana? Um, Mount Rushmore. It is Mount Rushmore. World geography this time. What country would you be in if you traveled due north from Bhutan? Alexandra. China. It is China. Government. Name the system of government or name the government system in which there is absolute control by one person. Ben. A dictatorship. We'll accept that, yes. Literature. Andrew Lloyd Webber and T.S. Eliot wrote the music and word, words for cats. Aristophanes wrote The Frogs. What French existentialist wrote The Flies as well as, the, as being in nothingness? Ryan? Sartre. That is correct. Fine arts. What picture... Oh, excuse me, what's pictured in Winslow Homer's painting, The Fox Hunt? Is it the fox, the hunters, the horses, or the dogs? Ben? The dogs. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Mustangs, chance to steal this fine arts category. What's pictured in Winslow Homer's the painting, painting, The Fox Hunt? Is it the fox, the hunters, the horses, or the dogs? Anastasia? The horses. It's the fox. It's the fox. <laughs> Science. Elements, to be exact. What radioactive element did Macmillan and Seaborg discover in 1941? Ariana? Seaborgium. I'm sorry, I cannot accept that. Mustangs. Chance to steal this science elements category. What radioactive element did Macmillan and Seaborg discover in 1941? Anastasia? Plutonium. Plutonium is the correct answer. Another science question, this time a geology. Geologists tell us that the Grand Canyon was formed during which geologic epoch? Grace? Uh, the Ice Age. I cannot accept the Ice Age. Huskies, chance to steal this a geology question. Geologists tell us. We'll finish the question. Geologists tell us that the Grand Canyon was formed during which geologic epoch? Ben. Crustaceous. It's not Crustaceous. It's the Pleistocene. That siren does denote the end of our first match and with a score of Blue Valley North 19 and Blue Valley Northwest 14. Congratulations to the Mustangs. Please again join us here on Categories as each week we will continue to bring you the best and brightest minds of high school students all throughout Johnson County. All right, good first game.